there we go <laughs> okay so i've got a different sound setup and i'm hoping that it i don't have like the wireless mic on but it's a it's a little bit of the old shotgun mic which should be pretty good from this angle and you should be able to hear all kinds of stuff like that but uh oh <laughs> my brothers told me like we should just do a little live stream on the side so he could hear the the volume of everything but i think it's gonna be okay it's gonna be good enough okay sounds fine we'll see about that if i listen to it on the back end and if it's actually decent but i hope so welcome in everybody i saw uh helsinki finland checking in at 2 50 a.m with a night shift going holy moly keeping it going <laughs> welcome welcome in everyone it's good to have you this is a uh, way more of a hangout on this one i'm going to talk about gopro stuff but all of these are always hangouts and they're always uh oh it's too quiet i'm, I'm gonna make sure it's uh, loud enough but uh these are always hangouts it's always about just the more you guys can give the more i can give it's a conversation so let's get conversating i've got all kinds of ideas and different stuff i've stuff i've written down for talking points but you uh you guys help it's always the good questions always the fun stuff and the the goofiness that brings me back to doing the uh the live streams <laughs> it's all about crashing mix squirrel it really is it really is we know that <laughs> okay bike som says the sounds dialed that's good we're looking good on the levels yes yes i did <laughs> if you guys were here on the last live stream i was like oh man i couldn't do it i couldn't do the orange grips i like the orange grips i think they add a certain i think they add like a certain certain good little uh color uh what would you call it complementary color with the the blue but oh, i just love the black on black with the with the blue it's so good i just like that way too much so i had to do it had to switch it I had to switch it yeah i got the uh trail one's got the titanium bolts as well they got all the different colors i posted that on the old instagram stories yesterday so yeah i need to get some uh maybe the black bolts see the gold is the coolest color but i don't think the gold would complement this bike that much but uh it's uh oh it's so cool there's so many different things uh happening we got trail one moving right along trail one components we got the t-shirts trail one dot bike get on there you might you might want to get on there if you were here last week you might uh you might want to get ready hey we got uh we got dan s coming in with the old 9.99 super chat from hershey pa you know i was wondering about hershey pennsylvania and it's like wait was it called hershey pennsylvania before the hershey factory but me and Sarah just looked this up recently, as Homer goes by on the screen. They named the town after the Hershey Chocolate Factory was up and running. That's pretty crazy. Can uh, are there any other factory towns like that that named <laughs> named the, the thing? Aaron S. Yes, I do have uh, a new thing. In case you haven't heard, Trail One Components is the company I started. We're making grips and stems and handlebars and stem bolts and fenders and water bottles and all kinds of good stuff the rockville stem is made in america machined in southern california and we've got uh yeah we've got more stuff coming the grips are amazing the grips are are absolutely fantastic so go to trail one dot bike get on get in there check it out it's uh just starting up we've been going for a couple months and it's been really really good so far it's been awesome just like building little by little and it's so funny too because people are like Wait, when are you going to make wheels? When are you going to make frames? When are you going to... It's like, <laughs> you haven't even bought a stem and you want us to make a frame? Come on now. We need to take it one step at a time. I was trying to make the... Uh, I was trying to make the comparison between... Uh, it's like any movie franchise or... I, I always feel like Maxim Magazine was always the best example because there was like Maxim Magazine. It was super... Uh, just like took off. It was super crazy when I was like, you know uh 15 years old just the perfect time and then they made stuff magazine and then they made this and they made like four different maxim magazines and it was like how about we focus on the good thing the original thing and uh ah uh, yeah picture gets out of focus maybe a little bit if i move around too much 
We, we, we got all kinds of problems here. We're just, we're all screwed up. There we go, that's gonna work. I move my hands too much. But yeah, get in, get on the Trail One gear, try it out for yourself and then tell a friend. If you're digging it, like uh, Jay is, I gave Jay a, a pair after we rode together and that'll be on Friday's video, or Thursday, Thursday's video, riding with Bike Psalm here in Angwin, testing out the new, that was the first ride on my new bike as well. And uh, Angwin is something else. It's all like, uh, straight up straight down but i saw that uh uh moto mitten trail one jerseys i definitely we're gonna do some trail one jerseys eventually it's all about the designs man the designs are the hardest thing like this t1 like this is nice this shirt's cool it's got the uh, trail one components on the back and this is on the website as well my cousin was uh texting me like a couple days ago and he's like hey when are you getting the uh the, uh, when are you guys going to do shirts? When are you guys going to do stickers? I'm like, hey, we already got shirts on the website. So I need to make it more, uh, you know, you have to click on the shop button to actually get into the, the shirts and stuff. So I'm going to put more stuff on the front page because if you miss it, if people are missing stuff and don't see it, that's my fault. I got to make sure the website is is dialed in. Uh oh, I got the, the other crappy microphone in the shot here. Got so many microphones. Oh, I see uh, Spokesman MTB. What's up? Long sleeve jersey for summer would be on my wish list. Yeah, black on black on black. <laughs> that's uh, that's how it would end up being. It's a it's a photo. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with the camera. I'm always always messing with it. Always like messing with it. <laughs> another day, another GoPro setup. Exactly, Ryan. Exactly, man. Let's let's talk about the GoPro. So, I think it was last year at this time. That's when I started the Hero 9, when I did the videos in St. George with Alexander, single track sampler. Yeah, we ship worldwide. Trail 1 will ship anywhere. If you spend more than 150 bucks US, free shipping anywhere, which is <laughs> like, we might be shipping that stuff to you for free if you're in uh, Timbuktu. But yeah, if it's over 150 bucks US, so get a, get a bar, get a stem, and the, ship, and the grips, and the shipping is free for you anywhere. We'll ship anywhere. Worldwide Cyclery is our partner. Jeff from Worldwide Cyclery, our co-founder, they have shipping and freight down to a science. But yeah, if you just buy a pair of grips, your shipping might be 25 bucks or something. So get, get the whole cockpit and you're good to go. So about last year this time, St. George, Utah were the first videos where I had the Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod, which is pure software stabilization, no gimbal whatsoever. So it, it's been really really good if it's good light so those first videos in st george no trees it's desert it's rock they were amazing it's like so perfect it's like wow this is just a perfect ride looks great on the gopro but then as we get down the ride as we get through the year and when uh let's say after the latest there after the first run of everstoke videos and i went back on the road in oregon and uh northern california coast it was so dark. It was so dark. <laughs> and it was like killing me. But apparently everyone didn't mind too much in the videos that, uh, oh, yeah. so, so yeah. Whoa, we got Macho Man Randy Savage checking in. Holy moly. We got to put the GoPro talk on the pause. Steve, holy moly. Spokesman, MTB, one and up. He's one and up Scott. <laughs> He's got a one up Scott. I just got a new fat bike. I'll be putting lots of trail one components on it. I want a shirt. That's awesome, dude. Thank you for that. Oh, it's it's cool. So many people, so many good stories, so many people I've met along the way, and uh, Spokesman MTB, just one of them. We got the Nugabago sign. He helped me put in, and I've got that. I just did a, like a little reorganization of my garage, so I think the Nugabago sign is going to go in the garage, which will be really, really nice. Thank you for that. Thank you for ah, the support with whatever it is if you're here you're here shake hello from instagram that's just as that's just as good as uh, anything else so thank you guys for coming so ah it's uh so the gopro setup it's been good it's been and then i've added like uh you know the the road wireless microphone stuff this is the first wireless microphone this is just a single but i've got you know the wireless go two, so it's two of them i can mic up other people listen to them while they're riding and uh it's a huge boost now. When I watch old videos and you can barely hear the other rider, it's like, oh man, how did I ever do this? And I have to subtitle over what people say. So now just having those tracks of other people talking is so, 
so nice. But man, the more I get into sticky situations with the Max Lens mod, and the more the the Hero 10 is now like 5.3K, it's bigger than 4K now. So it's like with the Max Lens mod, you actually are cropping down the uh, so much more. So everything's getting cropped down so much more. Even though it looks pretty good, it still uploads, uploads in 4K on YouTube. I want to go back. I want to go back to the... Uh, I've used this only a couple times. So the EWS 100, where uh, Ryan, Lone Ranger, was in on that race, and a few other YouTube folks. Uh, Jordan Boostmaster beat me. He, he got the first place, and Daily Mountain Bike Rider got second, and I got third. I, ha I see an AZ-MTB. I have the Noir Matter gimbal, and it is... It is a very good option for horizontal stabilization, which means you can use the built-in hyper smooth. And uh, but the problem with the Noir Matter gimbal is like, do I carry two Noir Matter gimbals on my ride? You can't charge that thing up. You you would have to like run a cable to charge it up if you needed to charge it up. So it's like there's not a replaceable battery. It is a really good option, if you guys haven't seen that. It's a single axis gimbal because the big thing with a chest mount and software stabilization is like you, you get this washing machine uh, footage and you're just like, Ugh. so it had to go. So that's why I did Max Lens Mod. So look into that. It's definitely worth it, but I'm going to go with the uh, this one and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> that hot yeah it's it's definitely it's tough the different videos and different points of views uh are very tough so yeah i got this and this is actually i think i linked it in the description it's called the so pro on amazon i ordered this yesterday and it came in one day so that's pretty good for 40 bucks it seems like it's a pretty good mount this is the hero 10 with the media mod i'm still going to put on all my camera or my uh various stuff i usually clip on the, the wireless receiver and then the wireless receiver gets oops oh, don't touch the microphone <laughs> whoops the wireless receiver gets plugged in with like a, a cable into the media mod so i like so i was talking about breathlessly talking about my ews experience and that footage looked pretty good it's a it was a little too low for sure and i don't think i had super view on so I'm going to go with this. I think uh, people dig the uh, the chin for the win. There's, I've seen quite a few videos where I'm like, oh, wow, this looks very good. But I think it also takes very intense writing. So we'll see. Hey, there's Poe. I see uh, old Mr. Percussive, Percussive in, the in, the, uh, in the chat here in the video. He's going to be in my video on Friday. Oh, I see a... Uh, Jeff Victory. <laughs> hey, Brian. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Would you ever do a 50-state st shred part two? I'm guessing your plans were limited, being 2020 was hell. I like this question. I really like this question because... Uh, oh, it got cut off a little bit down there on the screen. That's okay. So uh, I think about this. I've thought about this a lot. It's so funny because even with the pandemic... The 50 state shred was relatively easy. The way I did it, it's just boom. You go drive 10 hours, go ride a place. Drive 10 hours, go ride a place. Drive 10 hours, go ride a place. And this, like, we had the, like, the lockdown. I drove back home. I drove out. I drove up. I drove down. I could totally do the 50 state or 48, lower 48 state shred again. I say no problem. I think it would just be like boom, 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 easy. <laughs> I say that now, but, uh, I, I will commit to doing the 50 state shred again in 2030. I will definitely do it again in 10 years, like a 10 year anniversary. I'll do it all again. It's not going to be the same places at all, but, uh, I, I will do it again. I think that would be a fun thing in uh, 10 years. But also I would love to get me and Seth and Mo me and Seth and Alexander back to Moab in, uh, you know, 2026 <laughs> if that's possible but we will see because there's there's just so many places there's so many places that are are better and that's actually always what i want to know from uh from you guys it's uh 
where, like South Carolina, I know there's a really good place and there's a couple good places that I need to get back to in South Carolina to actually show off that, hey, they have good riding here. But, you know, Michigan, that was a badass ride that I did, but there's more in Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Oh, it's endless. There's, it's endless. So I, I want to do a couple makeup rides for the 50 State Shred, like the better rides, the best rides, stuff that people said, oh, you should have done this and sh instead of that, done that. But as it went, it was awesome. It was so good. I'm so glad with how the 50 State Shred turned out and how so many, so many of the rides were just amazing. And I will definitely go back because I want to show uh, Sarah how amazing some of those trails were. Brown County, Indiana. That I got so many comments about that over the years, but that one gets no, uh, no respect. That, that was such an awesome ride. Everyday Jay, what's up, man? Fellow YouTuber, V-Town resident. Nice, keep up the good work. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll have to check out the Everyday Jay channel. What's going on in there? <laughs> Definitely, Jeff, that was, that, ah, tried to make it work for the 50 State Shred, but I got in there, did my solo ride, and it was, ah, Indiana. Indiana is such a funny place because uh, it's like, it's way more Southern than you would ever imagine. If you think about it, you're like, ah, it's Indiana. It's like Midwest or whatever. But I never heard more Southern accents than when I was in Southern Indiana. <laughs> it's so funny. Redemption 50. Sweet. So yeah, I'm doing the full face. Um, any other GoPro tips? Because at least somebody <laughs> clicking this uh, thumbnail uh, about the 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 GoPro stuff. I would say I always do the negative one EV compensation. So exposure, you always take it down to negative one because the GoPro always wants to overexpose everything. So at least you can kind of, kind of get it uh, dialed in a little bit more. Yeah, that would be interesting to know if, uh, oops, I'm glad you enjoyed Palos. Yeah, pa Palos, Palos, Palos. I always say Palos, even though I think it's just Palos. Illinois. What else does Illinois have? I would be very, very uh, curious to see. Is there like a Yellowwood or is that Indiana? I think Yellowwood or Yellow something is Indiana. So, yeah. So, negative one EV compensation. Pretty good. Uh, and then it's just trial and error. Like, I don't even know if I have the actual proper tilt on this. It's going to be very uh interesting i just kyle i just started the hero 10 so uh i haven't i haven't seen it yet it's so funny because when i first started my channel i used a windsock with the gimbal uh to uh you know to to have better audio and then it overheated on one of these rides i did with my brother and i never used a windsock ever again because th that sun just beating down right on the windsock overheating the camera I had some weird problems with the Hero 9, but I don't think I ever lost any uh, any footage. Okay, Yellowwood, very South Indiana. I've heard good things about that place. So I haven't had overheating problems because I've only used it once so far. And uh, we shall say, oh, O'Bannon, Yellowwood. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bunch of places in Indiana to ride apparently. So we shall see with the Hero 10. I, I think I own, did I buy two Hero 10s or just one Hero 10? I try to buy two of everything that I have because two is one and one is none. So if I break this off, it's, it's no good. Yeah, but uh, this is also better because the Max Lens Mod, if any little piece of anything gets on the Max Lens Mod, it's terrible. The software stabilization is just like crazy. And the, the, uh, the lens on the Max Lens Mod is super easy just to scratch up and then you see all that all around. And uh, yeah, I rode Rhode Island. I did uh, Diamond Diamond Hill in Rhode Island. That was like one of the best rides. <laughs> that was really good. Rhode Island was super cool. There was a little uh, ice cream shop near the bottom. That was like one of my favorite rides too. And just this little piece of land that had all kinds of stuff. Oh, more from Jackson, Wyoming. That's that's not a bad idea, Alex. There's definitely uh, there's more from Jackson, Wyoming. <laughs> Jay, just use it. I, it's everything has its ups and downs. So 
I use my Max Lens mod for quite a while, for more than a year. So uh, it works. You can definitely get your footage looking as good as mine. So uh, you can make it happen. Then also the Hero 10 has the hydrophobic lens. So all that to say, if there's water that gets on this lens and there's a little bit of software stabilization, it doesn't look ridiculous. Because I go back and I look at my my Hero 4 Karma Grip, or like, yeah, Hero 4 Karma Grip, or even the old gimbal stuff, and it just lo looks so smooth, and it looks so good. <laughs> oh, man. So it's, I'm always like, oh, but I can't take a step back because I don't want to sync audio. I don't want to give an audio recorder to someone else and then try to sync it up. Ooh, we got some good questions in here. And you can you can ask the questions in the chat. I'll probably see 50% of them. I'll answer 10% of them. And uh, we do our best. We're hanging out here. There's 274 people in here. So I'm sorry if I missed your question. But uh, I'm just going to keep moving through. But I saw a couple good ones. Uh, Silink, double O. Question from Costa Rica. Do you have any new out-of-US trips on your queue for this new year? Love the ones from Spain. I was supposed to be in Israel right now. I had it all planned out. I had the plane ticket, the Airbnb, Sababa bike. You may have seen some of his videos, possibly, about Israel. And uh, this guy, Mike. And man, it, uh, it fell through because of COVID and everything. And then, you know, yesterday they're like, oh, we're opening everything back up. It's fine. And ugh, it just... Yeah, it, it's, it's brutal. So it's kind of pointless to try to do any kind of uh, international anything right now. So yeah, it, it's just, man, Australia right now, it's like riots in the streets. I would love to go to Tasmania. Australia, everything Australia right now when it's all rainy here and uh, just not perfect. But actually, if you look, man, it's actually still semi-light right now and it's 513 Pacific time. So we are, we're doing good. We've made it through the shortest day of the year, back December 20th or 21st or whatever, the equinox, or the solstice. Whoa, now, now I'm getting everything wrong. But yeah, so everything is getting better, one day at a time, one minute of daylight here in the northern hemisphere. But yes, I do want to do international trips. That's what I built my channel on. That's the stuff that people get, ex I get excited a lot about, kind of the series and the, oh, what's going to happen next? What's going to what's gonna be the next thing is kind of a a huge thing, right? It's all like the entertainment value of, oh, what's going to happen next? So it's a, uh, oh. thank you for that question. Kez, my man, you've been here from the beginning. Trail one components. We do have decals. We do have color decals. I just haven't posted it on the Instagram yet because I don't want to post like seven different things all in uh, one day. But, uh, Go to uh, Trail One Components. If you go to the handlebars, scroll down a little bit, you'll see like a little little icon that says shows the decals. Or if you go to Trail One Bike and you click on Shop, they'll be there. So uh, it's it's all good. They're there. The black, the matte black ones look amazing. I'm gonna get a couple. I'm gonna get the white outline one and try it. And I'm so intimidated for doing handlebar decals on the. <laughs> oh man, it's it's. I should have bought two of every one. Now that I think of it, but actually, the the decal packs they come with two sets of. Uh, they come with extra, so you can do with. I think it comes with eight total or two. I'll have to I'll have to show you guys when I get it, but. Uh, it's it's good stuff it, it's really good because you can change the colors we got orange we got like yeti teal no it's all good that's that the more people ask and uh i can make sure it's like oh they don't know people don't know i need to make sure uh make sure they know that stuff's out there ah so yeah <laughs> tyler marshall i missed the international nugget reviews <laughs> don't we all I've been pretty good. I haven't had McDonald's in, in quite a while, but man, once I get back out on the road, you, you never know. It's 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 in a it's in a pinch. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. This is sweet. I'm glad that we can get it's only been 15 minutes or like eh, 25 minutes or so. But to have the conversation going, it's so good that I can kind of juggle <laughs> and keep everything going. <laughs> It's the hardest thing, but I love it. I love uh, getting in this. Man, you guys got so many questions and they're they're scrolling past. That's okay, that's okay. 
Charlie Hicks with the 999 Super Chat. Oh man, it's so funny. You see people's avatars and then you see it blown up on the little thing. It's like, oh, that's what Charlie looks like. How about an Enduro World Series YouTuber rematch? Maybe even expanding to more YouTuber writers. Would love to see that. Yes, 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 yes. So the thing is, that was one of my favorite things that ever happened. That was 2019. And then 2020, we were going to do it again. Well, I was going to do it again. I, I'm, I've basically committed. I want to do that every single year if it's possible. And uh, man, how much is the noise of my elbow and stuff hitting this? Eh, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll, fig we'll figure it out. It's a live stream. But uh, so 2020, that race didn't happen. 2021, I don't know if that race happened. I don't think uh, uh, Americans were even allowed into Canada at that time. So hopefully 2022, later this year, the problem is now the pent up demand and all this stuff, it's going to sell out immediately. And, uh, oh, it's, uh, I, I wish we could do it in a bit more of a controlled way. Like maybe we could do our own timing and our own, st eh, but then you need the course clear to actually be a, be a race for sure. You need a course clear to get through. So it kind of has to be during the EWS 100 and that is a tough race. And it was just an amazing test. It rained, which was terrible, but we, we all got through it. Lone Ranger was there. Exactly. That's the great story. It's a redemption story of getting through it and making through it. And, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, sweet. Mike on a bike. I'm glad you got the grips the other day. I'm glad you got them. Fantastic. So yes. Uh, oh, I see you there, Jason. What's up, MTB? Yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, we need to, we need to find like a really cool uh, spot that's, you know, there's not that many West, eh, there is, eh, I don't know. The EWS Whistler, that is just the, it's just a great place. It's just the perfect thing for, uh, <laughs> to do it. Yeah, X-Checker Enduro, that'd be good too. That's a tough, that's a tough little spot. Just get everybody, uh, <laughs> get everybody in there. <laughs> it was, that was, uh, it, and that's the thing, we could, uh, we could put it out there. Well, there's enough uh, YouTubers out there to uh, to get in. Rich Drew, uh, when I rode with him in Arkansas, he's like, are you guys doing that uh, that EWS 100 again? Because I want to be in it. It's like everybody's like, yeah, I want to win. I want to be the YouTuber, the top YouTuber. Jordan Boostmaster. So funny, man. Because he, uh, it, he's so good. He's just the natural. So good. And the thing that we were all like, ah, but his fitness, he, cause he always pushes his bike up when he's uh, riding. He just, he like rarely ever pedals up because he's got this like DH style bike with way smaller cogs and everything. And then he's in it just full on, no problem with the fitness, killed all of us. It was, uh, oh, it was so, so much funny, so much fun. <laughs> Did I see Rich Drew in there? Did uh, somebody in there? No, no. Yeah, had YouTuber challenge with XC, Hill Climb, DH, all of the above. The multi, multi-sport. <laughs> I think, yeah, Skills with Phil, Phil Metz, probably would have the best chance. Like, Rich Drew is legit. He, he got into, like, enduro racing late in the game. Or no, XC racing late in the game, and he was dominant, dominant. And, uh, yeah, it'd be, he'd probably be the best and then you know the those random other guys i'm trying to think now nah, i guess i was gonna say like danny mccaskill or like that's, he's probably really good but yeah yep kyle warner too of course hopefully he'll be back in action sooner shout out to kyle something about cats i missed the cats <laughs> speed of youtuber oh category yeah i'm like well, what about cats <laughs> we're not getting a cat August 6th in Whistler. Ooh, Burke Mountain in Vermont. There we go. August 13th, Burke Mountain in Vermont. I'm going to email myself that. That would be... That Burke Mountain was one of the best rides. That was a 50 State Shred favorite that I did. And uh, EWS, Burke Mountain, August 6th. We're moving the EWS... We're, we're moving the EWS Whistler challenge to the east coast because that thing was amazing it's 
better than bad, it's good. That's the thing. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll ever ride the Kingdom Trails because if I'm in that area, I, how could I ever not ride uh, Burke Mountain? I'd have to be there for a month or something. <laughs> yeah, spokesman uh, MTV in the dad category. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, we got more. I got more talking points here. Hold on. There we go. Oh yeah, uh, trail one list. The first ever item, the first ever ride on the trail one list. I've got hangover trail. So if you go to trail one dot bike, you can see my entry for hangover trail as being one of the most fun rides in the world, even though it's one of the most dangerous, scary, hard rides in the world, it totally deserved to be on the trail one list. And the list is gonna be the Michelin guide of mountain biking. I'm just gonna get in there and I'm gonna make sure that, uh, that we, that after I've, I've ridden all these trails over the past six years almost now, I started my channel in 2016 in April. So I wanna make sure that I get back to all these other trails and catalog them and make sure like, hey, these are amazing. These are worth taking time off work for. These are worth using your vacation days to ride these trails. Yeah, Mason, a lot of trail one worthy trails in Washington. I've got Colorado and Washington and Oregon so unexplored comparatively to all this other stuff because a lot of states only have one or two cool things and uh, there's, there's just so many things. There's so many everywhere so i've got to get in there and actually uh and i've got my list i've got my list of the things that really stuck out and then i'm always adding to that all the time then i get back go write them go film a video and uh just get in there and, and see what happens so hangover trail the first one and hopefully we'll get that thing ranking up a little bit and uh seo if you're searching for the best mountain bike rides and that kind of stuff because i think you have to start somewhere so it looks kind of empty right now but uh it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger favorite state i've ridden that's a, that's a good question my favorite state ah, california just has so much you could go ride you know california all day every day there's the mountains there's the the, the just a little bit of everything for uh for mountain biking especially but for the real deal, like top level trail one list type rides, for as big as California is, it'd be interesting. If they, I, I think the Demo Flow Trail is definitely top tier trail one list. And then a couple things in Tahoe. Well, of course, uh, we've got uh, Downeyville. That's trail one list worthy. So eh, I'm gonna have to gonna, gonna do this. <laughs> uh, Yamboski, <laughs> nice new bike, but my teeth look amazing. Oh yes. We have my dental hygienist join the the the, the chat sometimes. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. <laughs> Pinecrest. Pinecrest isn't legal yet, it, right? I don't think Pinecrest has been officially sanctioned. So I've I haven't even really ridden out there because it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Da -da -da -da. I, uh, I've done trail work in Pinecrest, but I haven't actually ridden out in Pinecrest. So once that kind of, uh, that gets wide open, then we're going to blow the doors off of everything. Mike on a bike. We actually have the stem is available in raw, raw anno, basically silver color right now. There's only a handful of those stems. And if we actually sell through them, we'll make more of them. But uh, go check trail1.bike, go to the stem, the California, or the Rockville stem made in California. Click on the color and you can see that we have the silver one. The silver one looks amazing. I, uh, I think it would go pretty good, but uh, like I, I've said about a thousand times already is that black on black just looks, looks so good. It looks so good. I'm trying to think if we have the 31 8 clamp stem in the pipe or not there's we have the best thing about this we have tons of data from worldwide cyclery of what sells what doesn't sell and uh i think we did only the 35 millimeter clamp for a reason is like the 31 8 clamp doesn't doesn't sell like far and wide the big swath of thousands and thousands of orders but uh don't quote me on that i'm pretty sure that's the reason we didn't but we did do the the different clamp size for the the aluminium 
bar. <laughs> What's up, berm unit? Good to see you here. Yeah, orange, like, that's the tough thing for the full orange color stem. That's a whole nother level. We're, we're, we gotta sell what we've got and kind of make, uh, make a, a stand in the, in the, in the world before we can keep moving. But we'll do it eventually. But, uh, yeah. Nope, the orange drips <laughs> didn't make the cut. I took them back off after the last live stream. I just like the black so much better. Look at that. That's just so clean. Black and blue and rad all over. <laughs> I'll try to uh, see. I've got the orange trail one valve stems though. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. It's uh, just that's what sets our bikes uh, a different. <laughs> I am definitely not a nonprofit. <laughs> I am for profit. I am for spending way too much. <laughs> I, the taxes this year, I think I actually did good because my uh, quarterly, when you're a business, you're supposed to pay quarterly taxes and it's just like, oh, April, oh, and then uh, September, oh, and like just a kick in the gut every three, yeah, every three months actually. And then I think I paid so much and I actually had enough write-offs that now in January, it's like, oh God, it's only, <laughs> it's only four figures and not five figures. So it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm making it through. BTDT. Orange is tough because it's rare. The shades are the same. Yeah, that's the tough thing about blue and orange. Like, actually getting those those shades correct and true. Man, the, we got the aqua and then the, we got the green and all that stuff. And it's just, whew, it's it's funky. That's the one thing I want to figure out is because a lot of people have said, hey, we want blue grips. And uh, it, what what blue do you want? That's the question. So I got to do like a little uh, Instagram uh, story about like a poll or a com comparison. Do you want Superman blue? Do you want uh, like this blue, Bug Zapper blue, old Ritmo blue? There's so many different blues and I want to actually know what the deal is. Yeah, I'm actually curious. I think all of my handlebars of recent memory memory have been 35. I, I don't even think I have a, I guess my little, uh, my Ibis Haka grapple bike is 31.8. I think, I thanks. Any gravel bike parts in the future? I don't think so. We, that's the thing. We get, we want to focus and make sure we're like dialed in. We have the titanium stem bolt, so, but that, it's not a, yeah, the bolts are not a uh, actual lock. They're not universal, like a bottle cage or something like that. So, uh, hmm. yeah, no gravel parts yet. We gotta, uh, we gotta get deep into the mountain biking things and before we, uh, we, we, we branch out. Okay, the blue on the Fox levers, like brake levers. What, what are we talking about? Fox has blue levers. Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out there. But that is good. Like you, you want to ma match the, uh, or maybe the Fox lowers, Fox shock levers. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, there. Like the lockout. That's actually not a bad idea. So, does this little cap come off? Let's see. Yeah. So this blue. So the top of the. This kind of. Yeah, that makes sense. That actually is a good uh, blue to compare to. Thank you for that idea. I'm gonna take a picture of that, put that on the put that on the pole. And then that blue, I'm holding up this next to the Ritmo and this blue does not match the blue old uh, uh, Ritmo at all. <laughs> What's up, Mo and Hannah in the chat, checking in with your zebra uh, <laughs> suits on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I gotta put this cap back on before I lose it. I've definitely lost the air cap. You remember that? In like one of my videos, I, <laughs> I lost my air cap and I, it was gone forever. It took forever. I am using the A7 III for this live stream, going into an ATEM Mini. So it's the HDMI thing. I have always wanted to actually make 
this stuff look good. And I've always tried those like HDMI things, the dongles, and they've always crapped out. They've always overheated or been crappy. But this one, the ATEM Mini, which is, yeah, I'd pull it up, but black magic design. Little thing, little switcher. You can switch between different audio sources. Really cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a great, uh, it is a great webcam. That's about all I use it for now because taking it like as a vlogging, it's too shaky. I got to get the A7S3 or the A37, A7-3S. Oh, and it's like 3,500 bucks when the iPhone does plenty. Like the iPhone is just totally fine. So it's like, ah. Julio, Palayo, thank you for the 499 super chat. You get up. I, I, I think I saw you a ask a question earlier. You got to put the question. If you ask a question now, I'll see it. If you uh, put it in the chat, but uh, I missed your first ones. But thank you for the 499 in the super chat. Let me see that question, Julio. I know you're there. I know you're there. Oh, but yeah. Oh, baby. We talking. We talking camera gear. Cali Rado Kid, I'm gonna have to lease the A7S3, A73S, A7S3 from Joe for 300 bucks a month and <laughs> make monthly payments. <laughs> but you see that camera with the in-body stabilization, it's so good. You can actually use it if you're like running around and then it looks like this and it looks all good with the, the bokeh focus in the background and the, yeah, Mo and Hannah, <laughs> GoPro setup settings are on my website. Not the latest and greatest because uh, I'm going to try the Hero 10 with the chin mount and just see how it goes. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I saw Julio. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because the Super Chat, sometimes it doesn't look like you can actually put text in, especially if you're on your phone. It just looks like, oh, good to go. So uh, group ride anytime soon. No group rides in the near future. I'm up, I'm down. If I do, I do them on Patreon. They work out pretty good every time, but uh, it's so tough because it's always a logistical nightmare and getting everybody. I really like doing the group rides at bike parks because then everybody's like bought to get in, signed a waiver. We're just doing laps in the bike park and hey, if you want to come on this lap, we're coming kind of thing. So yeah, I, I love it, but uh, haven't done much of it. Mr. DR89, yes, van update came out yesterday on Patreon, which means it'll come out next week on Thursday on the public YouTube. Patreon, three bucks a month. If uh, it's a, it's an amazing way to support the channel, it means very very much. And just like a, a super chat right here, is, you know, four ninety nine or five bucks or ten bucks, or <laughs> if your spokesman MTB, it's fifty bucks, which is amazing. But you know, that three bucks for Patreon. Pretty dang good uh, deal. Tons of content. Uh, it's a little slower this time of year as always, but maybe if Australia and Israel were open, it wouldn't be so slow. Da -da -da -da. Richie Live. Forgot to update my payment info on Patreon. That happens. <laughs> oh, but a little donation. That's cool. I appreciate that. I'll take a five bucks towards the, uh, the, uh, the, the A7S three fun the camera's back ordered right now but man i don't know if i i don't know if i want to go down that hole or not i really like the iphone the iphone's pretty fun for being able to like grab and go and and shoot inside of a grocery store and all that stuff but uh ah, i don't know but uh van update that's coming uh yesterday on patreon <laughs> to next week on uh regular youtube and i probably will have another van update video because i didn't get to everything i wanted to but man it was a uh, it was fun it do, i did all kinds of stuff i spent way too much money and way too much time that's also part there's like all these things that happened all at once as to slowing down a little bit on the the old videos I don't know if I'm happy with the audio quality because I got to listen to it back. I, I did minimal testing. I just grabbed this microphone and plugged it in. And this is actually, this microphone is like running on batteries. So I got to be careful that <laughs> if it just poops out all of a sudden. But thanks for being here, Jeff. I see you. AZMTB, enjoying the Ripley. Tackles the big trails like National, which has surprised the heck out of me. Such a good bike. Rode it on high. Such a great bike. Rode it on Highline too. That's awesome. That is really, really good. 
Sweet. I'm glad to hear it. No, I just <laughs> heard my neighbor yell. <laughs> That's why. <wife. laughs> Everybody, keep it down. <laughs> the uh, the me I saw uh, I saw Bill ask this question a little bit earlier, but the medium is so far so good. I got I sized down on the Ripmo from size large, which I'd been riding for three four years now, uh, down to a medium, and the first ride went well. So I'm hoping the second ride is even better. Get some more mileage. Get some more smileage. No, no gravel, no gravel races, no gravel races. I would much, uh, much uh, rather do long gravel rides, maybe some uh, bike packing type stuff. But oh man, those gravel races are just crazy. We could probably do one at Everstoke. We could probably do from Everstoke. There's probably a hundred miles of gravel roads and all kinds of stuff uh, back there. So cheers to that. Uh-oh, I got to give away some grips. So here's what we're going to do. You got to get back on trail1.bike. You got to put the pair of grips in your cart. And the promo code that you're going to use is the same one we did last time, just with the number two at the end of it. So all you folks that tried and were too slow last time, uh, if you remember what the promo code was, I'll say the promo code here in a minute, but I'm just going to give everyone a chance. Uh, you can... Get your choice, gray, orange, <laughs> gray, orange, or black. Free grips, trail one, dot bike, put them in the cart. The promo code is winter two and uh, five. We'll give five pairs of grips away. If you did it last time, I have it actually set up that it won't work. So five new people, five new grips. Got to be ready. You got to be ready with the live streams. I, I don't want to get people too... Uh, uh, Pavlov's dogs with the uh, live streams of like when's the giveaway but I'm gonna do the giveaways I uh, it's nice to get the uh, get it out there tell me if you got them tell me if you got them Peter no knee banging yet for the medium uh, frame no knee banging yet I am five foot ten inches tall whatever that is uh, You know, that's something I've heard a lot of people talk about, the, the thickness and the does it need to be, uh, or are they fatter? They're not that fatter, but uh, they're kind of just normal grips. They're not as fat. I used to run the fat paw grips all the time, and uh, it, it just I just kind of switched, switched to more normal grips, and it was perfectly fine. <laughs> so we've definitely got, we've definitely got uh, a, a, a decent amount of folks that are asking about the thicker pair. So... When, uh, when rubber hits the road, if enough people inquire, we will listen. So eh, we'll, we'll see. But I think the reason they don't do the thicker grips with this kind of injection molded plastic is it probably wears out a lot quicker. If it was actually thicker, it starts to have less of rigidity and it loses its form and that kind of stuff. So we can, we can still, uh, I definitely is duly noted. I listen to all the feedback and we, everybody listens to the feedback. So we are always forming ideas. So, oh, winter two didn't work, but uh, a couple people got them. Sweet. Love it. Shelby got a pair of grips with the t-shirt. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> it goes quick. <laughs> winter two, it's already done. Everybody, everybody's got them all. <laughs> Sweet. I'm glad. Check out the grips. Yeah, I, I definitely need to get back down to, uh, to Arizona. It's funny because, you know, Tucson, the best stuff gets co covered in snow, but I'm sure there's some stuff that's lower down. And then Phoenix, Arizona is like South Mountain. That's kind of all there is, but then there's more. So uh, I got to ride with my buddy, Patty, Crappy Patty on Instagram, Patrick, that I did with the, uh, that I did with the, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, hangover trail so I, I i do need to get down and do some arizona riding for sure and that maybe next week maybe i'll just get in the van and go head down there that's kind of the 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 best part of it all oh jeff rogers <laughs> he was referring to the audio in the van yes <laughs> i thought you were talking about here but uh yeah it it does it does sound better it's not perfect it's not 
oh, it's not the best of the best, but it is pretty dang good. And uh, I'm glad. It was definitely way too much money, way too much time, but uh, it was good. It was, it's good. It's worth it. Some of the, like, certain songs, you just hear stuff, especially if you jack up the volume. Pretty nice. Thank you for that. Five dollar. Super chat. <clears throat> Tucson not really covered in snow right now. Oh, that's good to know. Even at the top, even at the top of Mount Lemmon, because that's what we did last time uh, early in the year, and it was uh, <laughs> icy and snowy, but it was really, really rad. <laughs> yeah, Sid Mackey's place got snow. It's kind of uh, New Mexico, higher altitude and stuff, so I, I think that's a little, a little, uh, a little dicey. But if the trails are okay, and if it's not too... Uh, too cold, so I get it. I'm, I'll get there. I love, uh, yeah, I, I heard good things about Hawes. That's kind of the, the main ticket. I've heard good things about Hawes that putting in a lot of work, and that's the, that's the awesome thing. I love showing off trail systems that are getting better, that have that critical mass of people hanging out and fixing and getting everything done. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, some Sunset Ridge, new double black at Haas. Love it. Everybody's down in Phoenix, huh? Everybody's hanging out. <laughs> I see you there, Aaron. <laughs> it's all right. You can always go back. Live stream. We're just hanging out. Oh, you're going to be there February 3rd through the 6th? Super Bowl weekend? Hey, Google, when's the Super Bowl? Super Bowl 56 will be on Sunday, February 3rd. Thirteenth, okay, okay. It's not like anybody I'm gonna watch or have a Super Bowl party or anything, but it'd be nice. It'd be cool. MTB Fluxin, <laughs> nice. You got some grips, man. Thanks for the grips. Guess I'll take my shift lock off. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. Glad you got some. Florida is always riding season. Thanks for the this five dollar super chat. Appreciate it. Mary Sullivan, a name. A blast from the past. <laughs> Mary's been commenting uh, on my channel forever. Hey, Brian, just wanted to say thanks for all your vlogs. Been here from the beginning. No immune system, so kind of stuck at home. Freezing cold in Western New York feels like zero. Stay safe. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it very much. I remember, it's always funny, uh, you know, most of the mountain biking audience is guys like me. Like, you know, guys that look like me, guys, it's just that white guy between 30 and 50 kind of, kind of idea. So when female names comment, especially without an avatar, I always kind of thought that Mary was like uh, her son commenting on her mo his mom's YouTube account or whatever, but she's been here forever. So that's, ah, oh, I love it. So many people... When you go back to those original, you can, that's the coolest thing about YouTube. You go back to the original videos, you can see the original comments, you can see those people's names. And it makes me sad a little bit sometimes because it's like, oh, there's that guy. He never comments anymore. Wow, that guy was there. He commented. Oh, he, so it is what it is where people come and go, but hopefully we br you bring them back. You get, you know, you get into mountain biking, get out of mountain biking, you get back. So it was, uh, it's all about it. Wild meth. <laughs> Please tell the Rostamon rock roll story from Vermont. Oh man, that was in my video. It, that thing is, that Rostamon rock roll was massive. And uh, JC Trails, uh, James, when I rode with him, he had, had skipped it the previous time. And so the whole time when we rode at Perry Hill, he was like, I've got to do it. I've got to do the rock roll. I've got to do the rock roll. So he was very much uh, hyped up for it. And Rock rolls are always, they always look crazier than they are, especially after doing some crazy ones in Squamish and Whistler. It's very tough. It's, it's just like I'm sure jumps are to some people where you do a couple, you get in the rhythm, you kind of get it. So he did, we, we went in for the first run and the way he went in was, I was following him. I was going to follow him in, thumbnails of course. But uh, the way he went in was so sketchy that I was like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> so uh uh so so then i kind of walked it i looked it i walked around and i felt like okay i can do it so i did the rock roll and at the bottom just oh nasty g out definitely got a, a tire mark on my butt you know from just hitting the and enough of a like whiplash hitting the bottom where i was like man 
oh, that could have been bad. But I didn't, uh, didn't, didn't do uh, too bad. So that was uh, pretty hectic, pretty epic, pretty good. Thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, you're going to build a shower stall. What's up, Muddy Paws Adventure? I do want to build a shower stall. It, it, actually, somebody uh, sent a kind of a cool little mock-up of an old water tank you know, with those, those metal grates where it's two water tanks with the metal grate and the plastic inside kind of cut uh, in and then you step inside of it and it's a shower stall. It's kind of neat, kind of a neat little uh, setup. So, uh, so I like that. But I think we're going to get going with the chainsaw mill. Aaron just got that. I don't know if it, has it come yet, Aaron? Has the chainsaw mill come yet? I always forget the name. It's like Lego Loss or Lago Lass, or, <laughs> but it's a step up from an Alaskan mill, but it's not a crazy bandsaw mill. So it's really good extruded aluminum. I've watched a bunch of videos. I think he made the right choice with that mill. So once we get up and running, we're going to cut down some trees. We're going to do some uh, milling stuff. The problem is well, it's not that big of a problem with doing decks and wood features. The wood shrinks about 10%, I think they say, uh, when you build it. So it's like any kind of decks and stuff, we got to put the wood up against, you, you know, all the planks up against each other and then they shrink in and then stuff can go. But it's, it's for actual dimensional lumber where you're actually going to build some things. We'll probably have to buy some lumber here and there or cut down a bunch and let the wood dry out for two years or whatever it's like one year one year of drying out but ugh, it's so it's so tough so it is what it is with that but we'll get there we'll get some some milling going and uh yeah the the tankless shower is pretty good it's an amazing an amazing thing when it, it gets going <clears throat> Yeah, I've read different stuff about the wood, the, the wood taking, you know, a year to cure. <laughs> like people put it inside, uh, in, in, uh, inside their house to dry out and stuff. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> we, just when you think we've got it all going, we got to basically spend a year before we even get to use any of the wood. <laughs> thought I thought I saw something caught my eye everstoke you know everything's my main focus there's so many uh so many main focuses so everstoke will definitely be a huge part 2022 trail one getting more trails from the trail one list and uh making good videos making the best videos i can traveling so lots of juggling and hopefully yeah it's it's tough you're you're juggling a lot of balls balls get dropped then you got to pick those balls up and get back to them but we are in it for the long haul on Everstoke, so it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Baylor, <laughs> I recognize that name. I remember when I first started watching your channel and you had your thumbs over the bar. It's crazy to see how much your writing has progressed. I've loved watching you and this channel grow. Thanks, man. That is so cool. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love the uh, the blast from the past. Thanks for uh, commenting. And I don't... I don't know how old you are, but I almost feel like uh, you might have grown up a little bit while watching the channel. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that's that's what's funny about uh, exact same uh, water heater to heat up a pool. That's what I saw on the reviews is that a bunch of people were uh, were uh, using the that exact heater to heat up their pools and like hot tubs and stuff. So it's like, oh man, if people are using this, like somebody's like, I've used this continuously for the past two years to heat up a pool. And somebody's, uh, that it's put it to the test then. So we definitely, Aaron's had some really good ideas about digging out some place where the water overflow is and concreting that in or putting like a plastic pool liner in. Cause in the summer it is so hot. It's so hot to be able to have a place to dunk in and then in the winter feed the hot water in there would be awesome. Curtis. Yeah, we got we got everybody chiming in. Everybody from the from the early days. Curtis Lee without your channel I'd probably still be riding on the road. Road riding, there's there's a lot of good things about it but nothing nothing beats the mountain biking. Nothing beats the mountain biking. That's awesome, Curtis. Thank you for the 
Thank you for the love. I love the love. Yep. Okay. There we go. I I I, I didn't. I don't want to any age anyone, but uh, yeah, that's cool. That it's it's uh, grown up, grown up with it. Redrick, you haven't missed. Uh, yeah, we've hung out. We've done some good hanging out, and it's five fifty one. I've been going for an hour. It's time. It's time to call it. We uh, we've been doing good. I finished. I finished my uh, my my water of Hyperion Espresso in Fredericksburg, Washington, or er, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Go step into Hyperion es Espresso and tell them BKXC sent you if you're ever in Fredericksburg, Virginia. <laughs> it's just water. Wow. Spokesman MTB, been riding for 45 years. I've been riding bikes since I was probably eight or something, but not like this. This uh, it wasn't until... Uh, probably 15 years ago now. I'm always blurry with the 2016 or so where I actually got into riding bikes a little bit mo. Okay, okay, talked about that, T talked about that. Oh, did you see, I did that. Oh, I was so mad that uh, I did, uh, oh nice, Life from the Loan, picked up the Rockville stem. Awesome, I love hearing that. So before we go, I gotta talk about a fail, a huge fail. I posted that thing on share your busted grips. Three people, like 6,000 or maybe 8,000 people saw my Instagram story about share your busted grips and you could win a free pair of uh, <laughs> Trail One grips. Three people shared, like, say, like participated in that. Only three people uh, wanted to post that they had busted grips. It was crazy. I just like blew my mind with the... Uh, I guess that wasn't the right lever to pull. Nobody cares. Nobody cared. People want to lurk. <laughs> we got some good chatters here. So we got some uh, participants. Ah. Yep. Thanks for hanging, everybody. I'm going to check out myself. I got a good voice. I got some dinner. I like doing the streams around 4.30 because I can do about an hour and then still have dinner around 5.30 and be in bed around 9 o'clock. You know, we got to get in bed early and then wake up uh, 7 or 8 a.m. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jeremy McBride. I appreciate that, man. That's also a name I, I remember. It's so tough. I get... Uh, it's. Have you ever heard of that number? Ah, I, I had it on the tip of my tongue, but people say that you can only uh, keep... 150 people in your head on a first name basis and I have like a thousand people in my head on a first name basis so when I run into people on the trail that I've ridden with they're kind of oh god I recognize that guy but I don't remember his name even if we've emailed even if we've written like oh it's so tough so these names and avatars are a different kind of memory which is funny it's not stored in my face and name memory it's just stored in like a flashcard memory when you <laughs> like learning a second language so at least it uh at least you guys i'll remember you guys <laughs> but if you ever meet me on the trail it's okay to say hey yeah brian i'm frank we rode together in blah 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 <laughs> please take take pity on me and the millions of people i know and talk to and everything uh. <laughs> oh yeah shout out to married with children shout out to married with children i love it Thank y'all. Thanks for uh, for getting in where you fit in and uh, making it happen. I love hanging out. I'm glad. I didn't have too much to talk about, but you guys always make it happen. And we had about 280 folks hanging out and, and doing it. So there we go. Oh, wait. Remember last time it was like a really bad transition to finishing the stream? <laughs> it just like cut out last time. I'm going to see if I can do this. Ah, I should have built some kind of... Uh, yeah, I should have built a better uh, outro, but here it is. I'm going to uh, slowly take off. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Three.